Welcome to Psychology Tree. Smart people are often admired, respected, and envied by others. They have high intelligence, creativity, and problem-solving skills. They can achieve great things in life and make a positive impact on the world. But despite their many advantages, smart people also face some challenges when it comes to social relationships. They tend to have fewer friends than average people, and sometimes they feel lonely, misunderstood, or isolated. Why is that? What makes smart people have fewer friends? In this video, we will explore 10 possible reasons why smart people have fewer friends, and how they can overcome them. Before we start make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below saying, I subscribed, and we will try our best to reply to your comment. Number 1. They have high standards. Smart people have high standards for themselves and for others. They expect a lot from their friends, such as honesty, loyalty, respect, and compatibility. They don't settle for superficial or mediocre relationships. They seek deep and meaningful connections with like-minded people who can challenge them, inspire them, and support them. This means that they are more selective and less tolerant of people who don't meet their criteria. Number 2. They are independent. Smart people are independent thinkers and doers. They don't need others to validate their opinions, decisions, or actions. They don't rely on others to fulfill their needs, goals, or dreams. They are self-sufficient and self-motivated. They enjoy spending time alone and pursuing their own interests and passions. This means that they are less needy and clingy to their friends, and sometimes they prefer solitude over company. Number 3. They are busy. Smart people are busy people. They have a lot of things to do, learn, and achieve. They have ambitious plans and projects that require their time, energy, and attention. They are always on the go and always looking for new opportunities and challenges. They don't waste their time on trivial or mundane activities. This means that they have less time and availability for their friends, and sometimes they neglect or postpone their social commitments. Number 4. They are introverted. Smart people are often introverted by nature. They are more comfortable with their own thoughts and feelings than with external stimuli and interactions. They are more observant and reflective than expressive and outgoing. They need more privacy and quietness than noise and crowds. They recharge their batteries by being alone rather than by being with others. This means that they are less sociable and friendly with their friends, and sometimes they avoid or decline social invitations. Number 5. They are misunderstood. Smart people are often misunderstood by others. They have different perspectives, values, and goals than most people. They have unconventional ideas, opinions, and behaviors that challenge the status quo or the norms of society. They have complex personalities, emotions, and motivations that are hard to comprehend or appreciate by others. They are often labeled as weird, nerdy, arrogant, or boring by others. This means that they have more conflicts and misunderstandings with their friends, and sometimes they feel alienated or rejected by them. Number 6. They are bored. Smart people are easily bored by others. They have a high level of curiosity, creativity, and intelligence that makes them crave for stimulation, novelty, and diversity. They get bored by routine, repetition, or predictability. They get bored by small talk, gossip, or trivial matters. They get bored by people who are not intellectually stimulating, challenging, or interesting to them. This means that they have less interest and enjoyment in their friendships, and sometimes they look for new or different friends. Number 7 They are intimidating. Smart people are intimidating to others. They have a high level of knowledge, skills, and achievements that make them stand out from the crowd. They have a high level of confidence, assertiveness, and authority that make them influential and powerful. They have a high level of honesty, integrity, and authenticity that make them uncompromising and outspoken. They often outsmart, outperform, or outshine others in various domains of life. This means that they have more admiration but less affection from their friends, and sometimes they scare away potential or existing friends. Number 8. They are sensitive. Smart people are sensitive to others. They have a high level of empathy, compassion, and altruism that make them care for others' well-being and happiness. They have a high level of awareness, perception, and intuition that make them notice others' feelings and needs. They have a high level of responsibility, commitment, and loyalty that make them support others' problems and challenges. They often put others before themselves in various situations of life. 
This means that they have more generosity but less reciprocity from their friends, and sometimes they feel exploited or drained by them. Number 9. They are different. Smart people are different from others. They have a unique combination of traits, talents, and experiences that make them distinctive and original. They have a diverse range of interests, passions, and hobbies that make them versatile and adventurous. They have a rich inner world of thoughts, feelings, and fantasies that make them imaginative and creative. They often march to the beat of their own drum in various aspects of life. This means that they have more individuality but less conformity with their friends and sometimes they feel lonely or isolated among them. Number 10. They are happy. Smart people are happy with themselves and their lives. They have a high level of self-esteem, self-acceptance, and self-love that make them appreciate themselves and their strengths. They have a high level of optimism, gratitude, and happiness that make them enjoy themselves and their circumstances. They have a high level of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment that make them pursue themselves and their dreams. They don't need others to make them happy or complete in various ways of life. This means that they have more satisfaction but less dependence on their friends, and sometimes they don't feel the need to have many friends. These are some of the possible reasons why smart people have fewer friends. Of course, these reasons are not absolute or universal. They may vary depending on the person, the situation, or the context. Some smart people may have more friends than others, and some smart people may have more or less of these reasons than others. The important thing is to recognize and acknowledge these reasons, and to find ways to overcome them if they are affecting your social life negatively. By doing these things, you can improve your social skills, increase your social opportunities, and enhance your social relationships. You can have fewer friends, but better friends. You can have fewer friends, but happier friends. You can have fewer friends, but smarter friends. Thanks for watching.